Hello Video World, uh, only messenger here, and thanks for watching another video. Um, if you've never seen me before, uh, what I do is I like to share stories, uh, or got to share them with me actually, uh, pretty unique, relevant ways of looking at today's world that are um, kind of unique, such as today we have God, I need a spanking. <laughs> How's that for one? Now, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, the stories up here on my screen, is I'm going to uh, read it to you, and then I'm going to go into a little bit more of what it is, a little bit behind the scenes, you know, dive a little deeper about what it all is. So, uh, with no further ado, God, I need a spanking, okay? So many of us view God as a taskmaster, uh, never satisfied, full of rules, and ready to strike or punish his children at any moment. Yet the Bible says he is a loving father, going so far as to describe him as daddy to his children. The truth is, God does love you. <laughs> I know, right? Sounds cliche. We've heard it so many times. But it's not. God really does love you. He really wants the best for you, his children, his child. And that's where the disconnect comes. Like a child, we don't realize that so much of what we ask for, want, or do is really not the best thing for us, spiritually. Think of it this way. As children, many of us would have eaten sweets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We would have not cleaned our rooms, probably not cleaned ourselves, <laughs> and stayed up all night as often as possible, right? Looking back, it was a good thing that mom or dad stepped in and ruined all of our fun. Now, as adults, hopefully we've improved, if not mastered, on these parts of our lives, but what do we really know about growing up spiritually? Think about this. As adults, do we have rules for our children for our benefit or for theirs? It is love, not anger, that should make you punish your child when he or she does wrong, lead you to punish your child. And love that desires to teach or train them to grow in a certain direction or area of their life, right? Well, God feels the same. In fact, God is love. The truth is, a lot of us Christians are spiritually just children, feeding ourselves with things that make us spiritually and sometimes even physically weak and sick. We're rolling around in the filth of this world and never getting tired of doing so. We're constantly wanting our own way, thinking of ourselves, and even complaining when we don't get it. Like children, we get angry at, make excuses to, and sometimes even turn away from or blame God. All the while, like a loving parent, who knows better, God is trying to get us to quit eating the junk of this world and to clean up our lives and ourselves. The funny thing about rules, discipline, and punishment is if they're administered with love, they're meant to draw the child closer and create trust and a bond. Now, if only we as adults would realize this, and when our father, out of love, decides to discipline, grow, or even punish us, that we would run into his waiting, loving arms and asking for forgiveness, thanking him for his divine spanking. Now, <laughs> what a way to look at it, huh? So... Scrolling all the way back up to the top, let me just first off saying this. Um, I've heard so many people talk about the rules. God has rules and rules and rules and rules. Um, we can't do this, can't do this, it's no fun. He wants to take all the fun out of things, blah, blah, blah. Well, the truth is, is so much, just like a child, I mean, they didn't realize that eating ice cream was bad or that, you know, all the time uh, or staying up late or never washing themselves. And we don't even realize so many of the things that we want to do as adults are really not good for us spiritually. You see, yeah, God cares about your physical being, you know, that you have a good life, quote-unquote, and all that kind of stuff like that, to a degree. But he's way more interested, way more interested in your, in your spiritual being and your spiritual life. And that's where the disconnect comes is as physical beings, we like to make ourselves happy. We like to please ourselves. We like to do things that make us feel good. 
kind of like our kids, is, uh, man, if I could just eat ice cream all the time and it would have been good for me, pff, sign me up for that. But that's where the vegetables and the fruits, now, if you love those, don't count this, but that's where the vegetables and the fruits come in, is God knows what's best for you. As you'll hear me say many times over, he made you. He made you for a purpose and a reason. He has a design and a plan for your life. The question is, will you live for yourself your whole life, or will you give it over to him to where he can actually do with you what it is that he made you for? And quite often, he has to discipline us, as the Bible says, to get us to where it is that he wants us to be. And uh, the Bible even goes and says that it's good he disciplines those that he loves, just like a mother or father. We discipline our children, not because we want to beat our kids or we you know, dislike them or anything else like that, but because we want the best for them. And I know that the many, 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 many times, <laughs> sorry guys, my, you know, my kids, that I had to punish or discipline or correct my children, I always thought, what what is the best thing to do to them to get the absolute best result out of them? And I am so grateful to say that I have a, a grown children, um, one in college, one uh, midway through high school and everything else like that, that have no records, no drug issues, no drinking problems. Their, uh, their mouths, <laughs> I don't ever hear cuss or rarely, and uh, which means they're probably not doing much of it in front of their friends either, and so on and so on. Now, I'm not trying to brag on my own children, so to speak, but constantly as as I needed to, and, and of course their mom, don't want to take credit away from that, uh, but we would think about what's the best thing to do for them, not just, ooh, I'm mad at you, I'm going to punish you now, and I'm going to make it hurt and sting and blah, 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 blah. If that's what you're doing, you need to slow down and think about yourself as a parent. Is Because God already knows what's best for you. He made you for a purpose and a reason. And so he knows as you're drifting off course, so to speak, just like we do as children, he knows what to do, or shall we say he knows the best method or whatnot to get you back on track. Bad news is we are creatures of choice. He doesn't force us to love him. And so some of us will accept the discipline and um, uh, allow it to do what it was meant to do in our lives, and others will rebel. So I hope you're the former, not the latter. If you're the latter, realize what it is that God is wanting out of you and why he's wanting it out of you, and it makes everything different. The only reason I punish my children is because I wanted better for them. I wanted something better for them. I wanted to increase or improve or whatnot their life in the best way that I knew how, you know, as a, as a, a regular person parent. Imagine God wanting to do that with our lives all the time, knowing what's absolute best for us, and then constantly putting things in our lives, taking things away, giving things to us, giving things we don't want in order to make us a better person make us who it is he made us to be. So, that's the story and the point, is <laughs> do you need a spanking? And if you, if, you, if you do, do you now need to understand why do you need that spanking? So, Only a Messenger, check out my website, onlymessenger.com. There's this story and many, many others that are similar and way different. Um, make sure you subscribe and comment and like. We appreciate that, of course. Uh, and and when, it, when you come to commenting is, let me know what you would want to hear about. Let me know something that you uh, would like prayer about, as I like to say, of course, because that's most important. But if you just have a topic or something you don't know or you're curious about or, you know, why does God have so many rules, that type of thing, then put that down at the bottom in the comment section. Once again, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up and a like. Come over and check us out at our website, onlyamessenger.com. I have videos and, and much, much more plus a way where you can help share this truth and others without having to say a word to anybody. And uh, so once again, only a messenger. Thanks for uh, being here watching. God bless. Talk to you soon.